So we do have some breaking news that just this morning it has been confirmed that Iran's president and their foreign ministers as well as other officials were confirmed dead from a helicopter crash. Now we're going to break this down what happened why the helicopter crashed even though there were three helicopters only one crashed. Why was this? I'm going to talk about that and discuss what this means to the United States because Again, the United States, we've had tensions with Iran in recent months. We've also seen tensions with Israel, and some are speculating that Iran's going to come out and they're going to blame the U.S. and Israel. However, most people would likely see through that. So I'm going to break all this down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now, let's begin. So yes, it has been confirmed. Yesterday we knew that a helicopter went down in Iran. However, we did not know if anybody survived. As of this morning, it took rescuers about 16 hours to go by foot in order to reach these areas. And again, Iran's president, their foreign minister, and other officials are confirmed dead in this helicopter crash says there was no immediate cause for the crash, but the helicopter had to make a hard landing on Sunday, according to the state media. Now, I want to play a few clips for you. Actually, actually just a couple. Look at this right here. Package is and to begin their recovery efforts. Iranian officials say the helicopter ran into trouble amid heavy fog on Sunday afternoon. Images of the crash site in Iran's East Azerbaijan province show the remote mountainous area where the aircraft went down. And you are looking at a photo of it right there. The president and other officials had been attending a ceremony for the opening of a new dam near the border with Azerbaijan. Rescuers face difficult. So what's happening right now is people are they're, they're going through the wreckage as we speak. And the hard part was and one of the reasons why rescuers took so long just to get there is because number one there was heavy fog we they couldn't get there through a helicopter because visibility was so low the second reason was because they had sub-zero temperatures uh, there was reports of a blizzard where they couldn't get to that area it was so cold so foggy low visibility it was just difficult now what does this mean moving forward well here's what i can tell you that a lot of people have been asking, you know, in some of the comments, my latest video, they're wondering, does this mean the, the, the politics, the, the, the Iranian policy is going to change? And the simple answer is no. Okay. Just to give you an idea. Here's how things are going to work. Uh, right now, they're going to have about a five day mourning period. This is coming from the Supreme Leader. The Supreme Leader is the one that things go through. Everything from the present is, again, it's not like the United States, okay? So as of right now, the Supreme Leader says they're going to take five days of mourning. Then, and actually immediately, we are going to see the Vice President take control. However, within the next 50 days, there has to be a presidential election. And Iran is set for that. It says Iran set for election after President Risi uh, dies in a helicopter crash. They have 50 days to choose his successor. Now, here's why things are likely not going to change. In these 50 days, all candidates must first be vetted by the Guardian Council. And in the past, the Guardian Council would disqualify those that were conservative or moderate officials. So this is why experts believe the same thing is going to happen again. That if a conservative or moderate official tries to run for president, they will be disqualified. The only ones that will be vetted and approved are going to be those that they are siding with the current administration. Okay, so Iranian policy is likely not going to change. I want to play you one other thing though. Okay, this is from a, this is from a CNN video, but listen to this. 
Christian, do you think that that will be a, a bit of a loss? I was discussing earlier just that he was a man who certainly was nuanced in his foreign policy, uh, perhaps did the work that President Raisi didn't want to do or wasn't capable of doing. Do you think that at this pivotal time in the region and beyond that that is quite a loss for Iran as well? You know, Paula, the truth of the matter is that uh, Iran is run by the supreme leader and more and more by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. Those are the people who run the country. The rest are, are acting at their service and their behest. They are not independent. Uh so like she just said, that the supreme leader is the one that is running everything. Everyone else is just acting on, uh, you know, as support to them. This is why some believe that nothing's going to change. That nothing is going to change. It will all be the same. Let's keep listening, though. Uh, you can have... Uh, nuance, you can have style differences that can either be more abrasive or less, but the actual running of the country uh, is is from a much higher level. So, so I think certainly in international affairs, in international security affairs, so I believe that that is likely not to change. So there you go. It's likely not to change. Everything is going to stay the same. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because there are there are so many tensions in the Middle East. There's tensions between Iran and Israel because of the war in Gaza. There's tensions with the United States. Like I said, Iran and there's going to be some you know news outlets that come out and say that Israel or the United States had something to do with this. But all indications are pointing to it's been fog. That this helicopter had to go and and take a hard landing and it didn't didn't survive so here's what i can tell you this helicopter crash that killed iran's president and others could reverberate across the middle east and it's because of all the tensions that we are seeing right now i want to read you this look at this it says the helicopter crash in which iranian president abrahim Risi, the country's foreign minister and other officials were killed is likely to reverberate uh, across the Middle East, where Iran's influence runs wide and deep. That's because Iran has spent decades supporting armed groups and militants in Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, and the Palestinian territories, allowing it to project power and potentially deter attacks from the United States or Israel, the sworn enemies of its 1979 Islamic Revolution. It says tensions have never been higher than they were last month when Iran, under Risi, and Supreme Leader Ayatollah launched hundreds of drones and ballistic missiles at Israel in response to an airstrike on an Iranian consulate in Syria that killed two Iranian generals and five others. Now, we don't know what's going to happen. Okay, We really don't know. But what we do know is that Right now, they're still going through the wreckage. They're still going to determine what the cause of this crash was. And then we will see what happens from there. But the concern is if Iran is starting to blame another country for this, for this death, that's where things could go from bad to worse. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today and this morning, that is all we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.